Expressing mixed feelings and ambivalence in conversational English. Hello and welcome to our English language learning video on expressing mixed feelings and ambivalence. In this lesson, we will explore how to express uncertainty and conflicting emotions when talking about likes and dislikes. Let's dive in. When you have mixed feelings about something, it means you have both positive and negative emotions or thoughts about it. Here are some phrases and expressions you can use to convey your ambivalence. On one hand, I like it, but on the other hand, I'm not so sure. I have conflicting emotions about it. It's a love-hate relationship for me. I'm torn between liking it and not liking it. I have mixed feelings about this. Remember, using these phrases can help you express your uncertainty or conflicting emotions effectively in conversations. To better understand how to express mixed feelings, let's look at some examples. I enjoy going to parties, but sometimes I find them overwhelming. I like spicy food, but it doesn't always agree with my stomach. I love watching thrillers, but they can give me nightmares. I appreciate the convenience of technology, but it can be quite distracting. By using these examples, you can see how you can express both positive and negative aspects of something you like or dislike. When expressing mixed feelings, you can also use softening statements to moderate your opinion. These phrases help convey a sense of uncertainty or reservation. To some extent, I enjoy it. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. I'm kind of into it, but not completely. It has its ups and downs for me. I'm not entirely sold on it. These phrases help you express a more nuanced view and indicate that you have reservations or doubts about your likes and dislikes. When engaging in conversations, you might want to ask others about their mixed feelings on certain topics. Here are some useful phrases to ask for their opinions. What are your thoughts on? How do you feel about? Do you have mixed feelings about? What's your take on? Using these phrases will invite others to share their ambivalence and contribute to a more engaging conversation. Congratulations! You've learned how to express mixed feelings and ambivalence in conversational English. Remember to use phrases like, on one hand but on the other hand, mixed feelings, and softening statements to convey your uncertainty and conflicting emotions. Don't forget to ask others about their opinions using phrases like, what are your thoughts on? Or, how do you feel about? Keep practicing and exploring different ways to express your likes and dislikes, and soon you'll become a master of conversational English. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck with your English language learning journey. Until next time.